So over here, you can see that I got two frames. So if I were to go around, bring in a rectangular shape right here, uh, while I'm in the prototype mode, uh, I can link it out. So I'm just going to change this color to black. So I'm going to go to prototype. And now if I were to click on this button, I want it to go to this frame right here. But now what I want to do is I want to bring in another button over here. But if I were to click on it, I want it to go back right here. So a simple way to do that is to create um, any shape right here. I'm just going to go around and rotate this out. So without linking out, I can simply go around. Let me just change the color to black as well. I can simply go to prototype and then add in an interaction over here and on click, I want it to go back. So simply what I can do is I can click on back and then it'll go back to the previous frame if I were to click on this. So now if I were to go on to the prototype right here, it loads that up as you can see. So it's loading out the prototype as you can see right here. So if I were to click on the square box, it goes around onto the next piece. And if I were to click on this, it goes back. So that is how you can move back and forth as you can see right here, uh, just like that. And that is how yeah, you can use the back option inside of interaction uh, for prototyping inside of Figma. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.